A prince and a duchess walk into a punk club. It sounds like the start of a weird joke, but today there was an important message behind this royal visit to a venue more used to rock royalty. Prince Charles and Camilla were in London's famous 100 Club to shine a light on venues, staff and performers around the UK who have had their livelihoods destroyed by the pandemic. They took in a performance and even went a bit punk themselves by graffitiing on the 100 Club's wall of fame. Naughty boy Charles, don't tell his mum. The 100 Club has a long association with punk and the Sex Pistols here, of course, who were big fans of the monarchy. Other bands like the Stones and Oasis have also played here, but looking at these pictures right now is still hard for any music fan around the country. And that's because there's no one dancing on the dance floor and there's no bands making a noise on stage. The fact is, whatever tier you're in right now, normality in this industry can't return for quite some time. Backstage, we caught up with owner Jeff, who proudly showed off the new additions to his wall. You can just about see Charles' signature. It's there, yes, isn't it? unfortunately, that was all plaster which fell off, but uh, I know it's there, so um, it's there. To be honest with you, um, the really important thing about this visit is the subject matter, really, which is that they're both, like all of us, very worried about the damage that the pandemic is going to cause to culture the, and the invisible jobs that have been lost, is the amount of people that have lost jobs. That loss of jobs is the key concern, as well as the mental health knock-on of continued social restrictions. Even with the news of a vaccine and the return of socially distanced events, there's still a huge question mark over when we might all be able to enjoy the music again. It's important that we don't lose the focus and think that, oh, now we've got a vaccine, everything is going to be okay. I think there are a lot of challenges still ahead. Nightlife for all of us, not just the Royals, will carry on then. The song will still be sung. It just might be a slightly different tune than we're used to for a little longer yet. Steve Hargrave, 5 News.